In 2012, a single board computer released onto the market that would change the way we see single board computing. And that computer is the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi success was so great that later on, the company went on to create the Raspberry Pi 2 and the Raspberry Pi 3. Currently, I own the Raspberry Pi 2 and the Raspberry Pi 3, both of which are great single board computers for your side projects. In this video, we'll mainly be focusing on the Raspberry Pi 3 and the programs that work directly off of it. But remember that the programs that run on Raspberry Pi 3 will run on your Raspberry Pi 2. So what makes this small computer such a success? Well, I'm going to be showing you my top five uses for the Raspberry Pi. At number five, you can simply use it as a desktop. Now, what I recommend is when you first get your Raspberry Pi, install Raspbian. Raspbian is the most basic version of a desktop that you can have on the Raspberry Pi running directly from it. As a matter of fact, Raspbian was built for Raspberry Pi as a Linux distribution that works light and fast. So what can you do with the Raspbian desktop? Well, anything that you can do with a regular computer. You can run their own version of an audio player, you can watch videos, you can even play some games that run on Python, and many things in the Raspbian platform. In addition, you can actually install a lighter version of Ubuntu onto the Raspberry Pi called Ubuntu Mate. Now there are many different types of OS's you can use for the Raspberry Pi, but the recommended one is Raspbian at its core. And this is a perfect alternative for kids who want to learn about coding, for seniors who want to learn how to use computers, and it could also work as a guest computer for when guests come to visit. Now at number four, you can definitely use the Raspberry Pi as a Chromecast alternative. Now don't go thinking that this can actually run Netflix, but it can play your YouTube videos or any sort of songs you can listen to on SoundCloud. It's all based on a small plugin that you can find on the Chrome Web Store called Raspberry Cast. Now even though Raspberry Cast is still in development, it still works as a great alternative to the Chromecast system. Now what I really wish is for Google to release a version of the software for the Raspberry Pi, that way you would have access to Chromecast and be able to cast your favorite shows to your TV through the Raspberry Pi. Now at number three, you can definitely use the Raspberry Pi as an Android alternative as well. And what I mean by Android alternative is a older version of Android on the Raspberry Pi, which doesn't run very well, but if you know how to tweak things, you can definitely make it run. What is also interesting is that you can install a version of Android TV onto your Raspberry Pi. It runs well, but it still needs a little bit of tweaking. Now, although it's still in its beginning stages and it's still in a beta format, it's still a good alternative to use on your TV to transform it into a quote-unquote smart TV. Loading apps onto it is a bit of a pain, but if you get it to work, it works flawless. Well, maybe not flawless, but it does work. Now for these last two, I would have to say these last two are my favorite ways to use the Raspberry Pi. So coming in at number two, using the Raspberry Pi as a media streaming or a home theater device. And by home theater, I simply mean running the Kodi software off of the Raspberry Pi. Now Kodi runs really well on the Raspberry Pi for many different reasons and for many uses as well. If you can build a dedicated Raspberry Pi as your home theater, it will work perfectly. Now the Kodi software's name for the Raspberry Pi usually differs. There is LibreELEC, OSMC, and OpenELEC, which is the purest form of Kodi for the device itself. And the Kodi front end is perfect for the use of a home theater and if you want to set up a server and watch your movies through your server, through the Raspberry Pi, it's perfect. There are several ways of tweaking the actual program to set up to your liking. 
You can change its appearance, you can set up surround sound in its system, and it works perfectly as well. I've tested it with my own system at home, and let me tell you, it's absolutely awesome. There are several programs that you can also install on it that will allow you to watch live TV through the internet, or even download your favorite videos to the device itself. If you've ever used Kodi on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet, then you know exactly what you're getting on the Raspberry Pi. And finally, and number one, this is my absolutely favorite way to use the Raspberry Pi, and that is for emulators. And that is something that works perfectly every single time you use it. Now setting it all up is pretty easy, just like any other Raspberry Pi OS. Just stick it onto an SD card, plug it into your Raspberry Pi, and you're good to go. Just follow the on-screen prompts, and that's it. So at this point, you're free to load your ROMs to your RetroPie and play the emulators on RetroPie. It's easy. Just load them up into a USB stick, plug it into your Raspberry Pi, and that's it. It'll automatically load onto your RetroPie. Now from this point on, all you have to do is play your games. And it's incredible what the Raspberry Pi can do. You can run games from the Genesis, NES, SNES, even PC Engine, which is absolutely awesome. You can even run your favorite main games as well. And if you're up for the challenge, go ahead and build yourself an arcade cabinet and put RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi and play it. This is hands down the best way to experience the Raspberry Pi. Setting it all up is easy, and once you're playing, there's no stopping. Well, that's all for me, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and also subscribe to my channel to see some cooler videos that I have coming up. And if you want, go ahead and leave a comment on this video to, you know, tell me what you think about the Raspberry Pi. You know, do you like RetroPie? Do you like the other things that the Raspberry Pi can do? Are you going to get one for yourself? If so, go ahead and leave that in the comments and uh, we'll have a discussion about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sergeant Rooster, signing out.